Wooden FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 2 1 defeat to Braintree Town in the National League South. Adam, it's been a difficult day today. Your thoughts on it? No, yeah, just like all, all three of the last games, really. It's just fine margins, isn't it? Fine margins. Um, you know, you're getting beat by the odd goal, uh, penalty today, and, and a set piece. Um, so that's, that's disappointing. Um, but yeah, uh, I thought the players showed a bit more character to, to get on the ball, and it's like for 10 15 minutes we show a bit of character, and then obviously we can see the corner uh, and then concede from it, and just feel like the whole mood just changes. All of a sudden, people go in their shells a little bit and frightened to get on the ball. So, yeah, we've got to address that, but it's obviously a diff difficult time. Um, we haven't had three defeats in a while, um, and we haven't won in a, in a while either. Um, and we're used to winning games of football, so difficult period, difficult moment, and, you know, we've got to, got to stand up to be counted. Um, but, you know, one thing these lads do, they work tirelessly in training. Tuesday and Thursday, you know you're going to get a good shift from them, but it's all me saying that week in, week out, we need to see it on a Saturday now. The goal came, like you said, kind of out of nowhere for them. It comes from a set piece. It was quite sudden because it was a really strong first 30 minutes or so, obviously, to get the goal early. It's a frustrating for you to lose that lead again coming from a, an early lead in the game. No, yeah, like I said, I thought we started the game well. We got in numerous chances, um, times we got in, in behind them, um, had a bat there. Um, probably didn't choose the correct decision. Our decision making was a bit poor in that final third at times. Um, but yeah, like I say, they showed lots of bravery to get on the ball and play on our half of the pitch, um, which we want to see. Um, and on the back of that, I think we created some chances going the other way. But yeah, it just that shift in, in momentum, um, and it seemed to really sort of um, you know change the complex of the game completely with our players. Um, like I say just not relishing um, you know what what comes with coming to to Braintree. It's a it's a tough fixture. Um, you know, but like I say it's it's fine margins. You know, maybe we was at the start of the season, um, still buoyant off of last season and getting one or two of those decisions and those late goals and stuff. And now we've been on the the wrong end of them. So, you know, like I say, fine margins at this level. Um, but yeah, we we got to be brave and, and, and kick on and, and work hard to, to try and put it right. And there was there was a bit of season. I mean, Ibi Academy makes his debut today. Personally, thought he was very impressive. What do you think of him today? Oh yeah, big, big, strong lad. I think the, you know he's only going to get better. He hasn't played a great deal of football lately. Um, you know we need to get him up to speed. But you know it's mid October now. We need players now that can deliver for 90 minutes. And you know still feel we're a bit short on that for whatever reason, um, which is not ideal. Um, so we need to need to address that. Um, I say the, the lads work really hard in training, um, and and maybe. Has, has, has done that in, in this week training and he'll continue to work hard and I think he'll only get better for us as well. You can see that with the boys in playing in different roles, Danny Barker's a little bit deeper than usual today, uh, Joe Wright on the right as well. There were obviously um, out of control decisions then with Joel Colbrand being out and Cameron Tuck being away. How do you feel they got on in those different positions and is that something you probably want to change or would you like to keep going forward? No, yeah, obviously in the ideal world you'd have Joel Colbrand's still fit, he, he's been missing, he's a massive miss for us. Um, but you know, one player can't you know, rule our season and, and Tati's picked up concussion so he misses two weeks now. Um, Reece Meekham's been ill this week. Um, but it's, I'm not one to sit behind and reel off injury after injury and stuff like that. You know, um, ultimately, you know, we, we, we could come here today, um, it's been a very tight game. We haven't got decisions. I don't know whether the ref gives that handball in the other box, which which is frustrating. Um, you know, and, and sending off where we, you know, now lose Aaron for three games. Where you know, it's coming together. I think he's just trying to get the ball and, and play quickly. Um, and then their lad don't get booked. Ours gets sent off, and the goalkeeper gets booked as well. So, a couple of frustrating decisions from the referee today but again not one to sit behind the rest decisions or injuries or anything like that you know ultimately myself and everyone in that dressing room we've, we've got to be better and um, you know we've got to work hard enough and this is the time where you know we've got to earn our, earn our stripes if you like and um, yeah no better way to the home fiction next week. Like you say though it's unfortunate for Aaron to get that sending off and it was in controversial circumstances we say how much of a loss is that for us going forwards and how much is going to affect us coming into next Saturday? No, that's it, yeah, but like, what can you do? You can't sit and hide behind it and you know, other players get their opportunities and you know, with that, if you get an opportunity, you've got to be prepared to go and take it and um, you know, that's, that's all we can ask. Uh, like I say, it's, it's not a time to sit and criticise anyone. Um, all we can do is, is work hard to, to 